I'm so trying to get the Seinfeld, and I do enjoy it, but it's just... I found it very hard to actually get episodes of it. Like, yeah, it's, it's on more four now. Oh, is it's it? It's on more four now, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, deadly. All of them, yeah, are on it. Ah, oh, so it's... But it's, like... it. Oh, Seinfeld only becomes Seinfeld, really, the end of season two. But it's still worth mm. watching from see see all of a sudden this a, a dramatic a transformation in it. And then okay. towards the end of the actual the whole series and entirely they just kinda go, ah, fuck it. We're just gonna yeah. lean hard into it's, this it's, and be assholes. It is when you look assholes. like we've went back looking at the whole lot, man, you're looking back and it kinda go because it's basically what always sunny in mm. Philadelphia ended mm. up uh, copying well not copying, but kinda like It's it's the modern Yeah. Yeah. Uh version because they're all horror and it was like new for the time where it's like they're all horrible people that there's no redeeming factors nothing happens yeah. there's no progression there's Elaine no the, the female character in it is basically the male character out of a lot of it who dominates over these <laughs> kind of the, yeah. the, it, it's, it's, it's just it's, it's, it's fucking so different, yeah, yeah. It, I think it's the best uh, um, sitcom sitcom yeah, yeah ever kind of like and what's hysterical as well is like I mean obviously George Costanza is Larry David Larry David yeah it is there's like we remember looking at the, the making of it at one point there's one episode where <laughs> George Costanza he's like seeing this girl and uh, they're like at a party in the, in her house and people throw stuff in it and he sees like a fucking a chocolate eclair sitting on the top of the bin kind of like on the rubbish <laughs> so he eats it out of it and the mother-in-law sees it and she's like oh my god like he's a fucking pig he's like a bum and the, when they were doing it he was like I'm not going to do that who the hell would who do would that do and Larry that? David was I did it <laughs> <laughs> and then kind of like when you look at the making of it you go and see that nearly everything that happened in Seinfeld to a certain point happened to him in real yeah. life well, like, he, yeah. like, I think he, like, he was just like after a while when he realised he didn't like after he got like, enough credit like or something like that he just was like I don't even have to veil it anymore and that's where Kirby enthusiasm come from Mm. Yeah, sure. That's, that's I remember it. reading the th- or seeing the thing about Kirby Enthusiasm at one stage, and they were saying he fucking won a writer writer's well, award for best writer. Every it's just his life. Mm. He never wrote any of it. It's just his life. That's yeah. it, and it's just yeah. it's all improvised. Mm. And the term. If you like Kirby Enthusiasm, you love Seinfeld. You will love really. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did because it's basically Kirby Enthusiasm, but it's like when they were younger, really, because mm. he he did live. Um, Kramer was his neighbor. Kramer, like Kramer, yeah. is a real person. Um, and I, it, it, there was just loads of meta things in it, mm. kind of. Yeah. And the terrible thing is, like, I mean, I've often said it here, of like, I think nearly everybody relates a lot to George Costanza. Mm. Like, I mean, I've <laughs> the amount of things that but George has done, I've kind of gone, like, I've done that. Yeah. And I kind of went, I'm a fucking pig. Because yeah. I've, I've. <laughs> so George was his stand in <laughs> kind of in the I, show, I've was he? Yeah, 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 it yeah, is. It's, it's <laughs> because, like, if they do a whole episode where they go to sell a pilot mm. for Seinfeld to uh, NBC which is how they actually sold the, yeah. the pilot the Seinfeld and it was like Larry David wanted someone else to play him and um, they were like no no we're getting this like uh, small fat ball guy to play you and he was like but I'm not and they were like yeah but he's exactly like you and he was like fuck it <laughs> <laughs> how dare you yeah. Yeah. Um, but th- there's loads of things but it's like sure even the whole thing with Corby Enthusiasm they did the Seinfeld reunion series didn't they mm. yeah where it was like yeah. they, that was like the, the thing and like I mean that season was it was all right, but it's but the like amount of times Larry Seinfeld David pops up in Seinfeld where you don't realize it's him yeah. until you know Larry Seinfeld from Kirby Enthusiasm. Larry he does Seinfeld. so many <laughs> Larry Seinfeld, Larry yeah. David. He mm. does so many voices. He's like he just pops mm. up as like bit. He's he's the lawyer in the cape yeah. as well. I mean, he just pops up as all these little bit parts in the whole thing, and it's, it is nice going back watching it. And virtually anyone who's anyone in sort of sitcom land in sort of like um the, nearly every woman every that's in person it because it's, it's the whole the running joke is like Jerry has a different girlfriend every yeah. episode um, but they like nearly every woman that's it you kind of go who the fuck is she and then you go looking at her and you're like oh my god oh my god she her. went on to be a big star in this show or she went on yeah. to be a big star in this Courtney film Cox is in it at one point um, virtually it. every single person who was anyone in Hollywood has been on Seinfeld at some stage yeah. It's like I mean, Friends. Friends was a version yeah. of that as well. I think a lot of people that were in Friends as kind of like big mm. par- characters went on being big. Mm. But yeah, well worth going back and having mm. a little, little watch of Seinfeld. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, d- d- have you listened to any decent new albums? <laughs> Emphasis on the decent, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, no, not not this no, week. No, all derivative this week. Yeah, derivative. <laughs> Just listening to this it. week has been a bit um, more kind of on the artistic side for me, like with the whole drawing and painting. Mark mm. in the creative side with the video games. So 
created with air quotes. I can hear the air quotes in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice, but anyway. Um, no, I'd say we Kim. will, though, listen to a bit more music this week. So, hmm. yeah. Well, for what will be coming up, kind of like for this week, I changed what we were meant to do. Oh, really? And so I, t- I thought it'd be nice because initially what we were going to do well, well, was going to be Phantomus, the director's cut. Mm-hmm. And I thought, nah, that's a bit fucking... That's going to be torture for rough. everyone. So what I did it was uh, Fate No More, Angel Dust. Fair cool. enough. Which is, okay. Yeah, which I think he might like. So that'll okay. be next week's classic album. Yes, yeah, but when I was listening, it came out last week, or well, I suppose from yeah, when recently. this is a, 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 yeah. recently is Paradise Lost. I don't know if you've listened to, them, no. or ever even heard of them. They're they've been around since like nineteen ninety, well before nineteen ninety. Um, they're an English kind of doom metal band, I suppose, kind of like goth doom metal, metal. metal. But they've I love I, I love some of the metal subgenre names. Subgenres, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, but it's like they sound a bit like Depeche Mode at times they, they're, they're quite heavy like, and, and gloomy Depeche gloomy. Metal yes. yeah but uh, their new album Obsidian is fucking yeah heavy as fuck it's but listen mm. it's a, this is the thing it, they're not really a he- they're heavy at points mm. but they're not like Mark if you with your symphonic metal you would really really yeah, like you'd these appreciate this. they would Paradise Lost would have influenced a lot of these people with mm. folk music because they brought in a lot of acoustic guitars and all this mm-hmm. so and you listen to kind of like the title track or oh fuck I can't remember what it's called Paradise <laughs> um, Lost is the band or the album uh, the, the band uh, their new <laughs> album Obsidian uh, you will really really uh, you'd be I think you'd be extremely okay. surprised and should I just listen um, to Obsidian or should I go back well, I'd listen to them, but there's around 20 albums, I'd say, so... We probably won't get time to listen to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd just, you know, I, if I was to pick one, What would be your, your top three tracks? Three tracks. Uh, what? It's kind of like... I, uh, oh, jeez, I couldn't pick... On the spot. Three, like, because <laughs> there's so many different kind of like, you know... One, like, I like Beneath Broken Art from mm. one other thing, and, um, like, fucking Gothic is mm. a classic... I just well, looking at the studio like, albums and the first album is Lost Paradise and then down the road they came up with another album Paradise Lost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, Did they run out but, of names? because <laughs> oh, they came up with more after that. It's just yeah. like, and before that. It's just like, I think they were like, ah, like, oh, yeah. Fucking, we, ha- we haven't, we haven't uh, inverted our name in a while. Let's do that. I just want to get But like, I mean, the, the whole thing, it's, 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 it's I don't know, it's because they te- keep, well, they kept changing their style. They started off very, very heavy. Then they progressively got more like an electro band mm-hmm. with like heavy elements, and then they kind of like went back to kind of like extremely heavy. But they're known for being fucking. Miserable. One of the lads that we used to hang around with saw them live up in Dublin, and like they're known for being miserable bastards in real life. And um, the, the singer Nick Holmes just started fucking getting really annoyed uh, that the the sound wasn't good for the gig so kind of like walked off stage and cancelled the gig and then the next day when the lads were heading home they passed where Paradise Lost's bus was broke down on the side of the road <laughs> with like flat tyres and they were standing in the pissing rain trying to change it up and it just kind of I don't know but no hope in sight is that, that what was, you're trying to that think that was about? the name of the track I was trying to think of mm. I think that's like one of my favourite tracks ever by them yeah but they did a, I don't know Small Town Boy it was like mm, was, it, was it Erasure or fucking no it was Bronsky Beat or something like that where it's run mm. away run away um, it was like an 80s classic song they did a co- they're they're an amazing band they, mm. they like fucking any band that's after being around for 30 years there has to be something to them mm. um, very under- like I definitely pick for one of the Classic, classic albums. albums but the thing is there's like two or three well there's a couple of them like Gothic could easily be a classic album Draconian Times in one second mm-hmm. um, definitely be up there as might just have to pick one then and album. like um, turn it into like a, just a, a band highlight episode mm. Mm. exactly true 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 but yeah I suppose we're probably coming near the end of the bonus track we've kind of hopped around a little bit uh, haven't we Sing Street Horror Paradise Lost mm. A little bit of Warhammer dotted in there for the people who, you know, yes, needed, to, yeah. needed to go sleep. I'd yes. imagine, yeah, if we could kind of like go to kind of like the, the point where people just click stop. <laughs> they probably call Warhammer, the Warhammer. Immediately delete. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but that's why it's Indeed. a bonus episode. You can take it or leave it. Yes, yep. most people probably left it. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose until next week. Mm. 
Arriva Dirty. Farewell. Or what, how would they do? They say goodbye in persona, Mark, which so is probably all that you farewell. can take of that. Well, oh. they said in Japan, so it'll be. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing it on English. Bye. Come on, come on, do it in the style of one of the characters from Persona. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. We all got this. Thank you.